Hello everyone, welcome to Altrius Plays. This is going to be a brief summary of what we did on the stream last Thursday. So every Thursday at half past seven GMT we are playing. There's me, there's Lawrence, there's Tristan, there's Mike, there's Pete, and hopefully if he can make it work, Ed. Ed's having a bit of trouble, but fingers crossed he can join us too, because in this mod pack, the more the merrier. We really need every hand at the helm, because... We're playing a mock pack called Dungeons, Dragons, and Spaceships, which all sound like amazing things that we're all happy to do. You know, we all want to go Dungeons and Dragons in, we all want to go up into spaceships, there's planets to explore, there's dimensions to discover, there's dungeons, and there's probably a dragon around here somewhere, but unfortunately, many things are in our way, not least enemies like this. Snow, no, this skeleton. Well, you're a bit of a bad example. There's enemies in here which have been, shall we say, imbued. <laughs> There's a mod that creates enemies which are named, and they have effects applied to them. So you can get a skeleton that performs withering, that performs poison, that regenerates. You can get... Here's one now. Here's one now. Here's one now. No. Here's one now. And they have names, and they have... Basically, is creating bosses as you go along. What are you? Cave spider. There's tiny enemies, there's giant enemies, there's... That's just one of the things we have to deal with. There's blood moons, which causes just monsters all over the place. If you've ever played, um, what we're we talking about, Terraria, or even Seven Days to Die, for that matter. There's a flame spewer, primitive mobs. Thank you very much. Uh, ooh, what's this? Just makes bats. Ender pearl. Don't tell anybody. That's a secret. Ender pearls are going to be a challenge to get because, of course, endermen are going to be hard to kill because everything's difficult to do. Um, I hope it's not too dark for you, by the way. I've got creative mode on. I'm running around the server. Tristan, who is our server expert, admin, running type person, very helpful, is going to reset everything that we do now so I can just mess around as much as I want without ruining Thursdays. So... Apart from the enemies, what else have we got? Well, what we've actually got against this is the quests themselves. I'd say quests, the recipes themselves. We have a quest book. The quest book, is, this is just the first page of the quest book. We have to do all of these things. It was fairly easy to, you know, punch wood, uh, create a furnace, which is still just a bit of cobblestone, no problem there. Uh, this is the Empowerer from Actually Editions, because I was looking around. That's the sort of thing we're dealing with. This goes in an elite crafting table. It requires Triberium. It requires Electrosilicon, whatever the heck that is. Intermedium, which is probably an intermediate level thing. Tough Alloys, Double Batteries. This is from Nuclear Craft. We've got Actually Editions. We've got Mechanism. We've got Tinker's Alloy. Uh, edition. We've got Tinker's Construct itself. Lunar Reactive Dust. I thought that was Lapis. Dilithium Ingot, Star Trek, more plates, them. so much stuff in this, right? Um, <clears throat> just making uh, this, just completing this quest took me a good 20 minutes because I had to make this. This was normal, these are normal. These are made out of plant fibre which are made out of saplings. So one sapling, three saplings, 12 saplings, and then three of those, which is six iron ingots, 18 iron ingots, and then it's a 24, I could do my times tables, 18 iron ingots, 12 saplings, a copper ingot, and a bunch of wood. Just to make a hook, <coughs> just to make a hook. We did manage to get through to the advanced crafting table, so we do have the space for it, so there is that at least. Um, but, oh, hello. Can I help you? No, we don't want any, thank you. Uh, we're not buying. <clears throat> so we've come to this place. We've got a mountain to the north. We've got ocean to the south. And here we are, stuck in the middle with Mike. Uh, so we've picked a place where we can hopefully expand. Um, look how much space we've got. The plane is quite broad. That's our spawn house. So maybe we can build in that direction. Um, but there's two... The, Two challenges of the mobs and the recipes are well challenging. One of the other things we want to be doing is actually building stuff. We want to do stuff here. Um, we want to 
basically build a village. <laughs> so we need to start automating. We need to start producing materials. We need to start, you know, smelting stone mining. We need to start mining properly. Um, but the quest book is going to guide us through all the mods that we thought we knew and now we don't. Um, I'll give you an example. If you thought you knew that uh, a tree hopper, for example, from bonsai trees, if you put a... Well, let's see if this works, actually. Uh, please give me a hopper. Can you just have one? Uh... Oh, you right click is useless. I didn't know that. Um, can you search this? <laughs> oh, do you know what you can do? You can go. Uh, bear with me, bear with me. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. Where is my JEI options? Anyway. Uh, if you have a hopper underneath the there's one thingy, and then a chest underneath that, uh, I don't mean to do that. Then you should. Does it work? No, it doesn't even work. <laughs> so normally, or at least in my understanding, bonsai tree and then hopper. Unless it's a hopping bonsai tree. There may be a hopping bonsai pot, right? Because oh, I remember that. Yeah. If you can create one of those. <laughs> what is this? Darkwood door. Great. Um, then the tree will go into the thing. But let's have a look at the recipe for that. The, the vanilla recipe for that is basically a bonsai pot and a hopper. Right? This is four hoppers. A servo mechanism, some prudentium, wherever the heck that is. Oh, prudentium from prudentium, which is expensive. And then jorxium, what is it? Never heard of it. Jorxium dust, what are you talking about? Yeah? Oh, look, there's an ore. I wonder where that comes from. Let's have a look, actually. Well, uh, smelting. Yeah, you have to make dust. So you have to make dust. You can't smell anything but dust. Which means you have to make a crusher of some description. Which is this. You thought you knew thermal expansion. I was going to say foundation because I was looking at it. You thought you knew thermal expansion. Oh, no, sir. You do not. You thought you knew Tinker's Alloy, t uh, Tinker's Construct and the alloying add-ons. Oh, no, you don't. Because now you need jorks and ore, which is at least in the overworld. So we have got some respite there and that's to make the thing out of hoppers what about the hoppers oh no iron plates are at least easy you bash together two pieces of iron with a steel hammer and eventually you can create a compactor which is oh no look i've gone cross-eyed but you have to make it in a rolling machine how do you make that oh no all of these things are going to be manually crafted over and over probably by mike but this is the direction we need to go in. So, that's what our quest book's for. Right? We're going to be following some of these each week. There's going to be a, basically a push through different pages. There's me and Lawrence who are going to basically pick maybe a page each. We haven't really discuss, uh, discussed it. We haven't figured out what we're going to do exactly. It'll probably grow organically as we figure out how we actually work and how difficult this ends up being because it may involve all five or six of us doing the same thing to get anywhere at all. Uh, or we may be able to do two at once, um, you know, with Mike just going around resource gathering. And I think resource gathering will be the biggest difficulty. But come along on Thursdays. Um, we will be streaming in such a way that you should be able to see everybody stream at once uh, where that is working. It didn't work for me too well last time. Uh, it works for a while and then crashes when Minecraft is horrible stuff. So I'm going to have another play with it in between now and Thursday. And I'm going to do another one of these after each... Uh, stream so we can sort of summarize what we did uh, if the next stream is more successful I'll probably use stream footage 
uh, and put that together into another video as well. But last stream, I spent so long just trying to get into the server <laughs> and make anything work at all that there's just not much there. I'm just running around, um, you know, completing quests, building ladders, and basically I do this, this horrible sorting system, which is, you know, here's a box for everything that you have in your inventory and you don't want. Here's a box for, uh, I don't know, here's a box for, oh, it's got a bee in it. Oh, uh, the forestry as well. Look at the apiary. Oh, nice and easy, you don't say. Okay, let's make an impregnated casing. Well, not too bad, it's just a carpenter. Uh, it doesn't even need any liquid input, how about that? Uh, or you can make even more from this. Well, how do you make a carpenter? Oh, I've gone across that. We've got all these mods installed, and they're all some of my favourite mods, but in order to get to do anything with any of them, they've got to bootstrap themselves. They all work together. Everything is made out of many, many mods. And everything is made out of many, many... Look, the fans control circuit is made in a carpenter. That's how you make a carpenter. Which means we need an engineer's workshop. Which needs a basic control circuit. How did you make one of those? Actually, I found the bottom. <laughs> this is the leaf. We can do this. Wood tank. It's just glass and wood. <gasps> Brilliant. Okay, we found the bottom of that particular chain of oh my gods. So we can make an engineer's workshop. We can make a basic control circuit in an engineer's workshop. So we're going to be doing a lot of stuff in the engineer's workshop and to heck with the carpenter. It's rubbish. Even the transistor can be made. <gasps> This is great. We can probably start doing things like this next week, but we will follow the quest book. Don't let me get distracted. We're going to follow the quest book. Pick one of these, finish off these quests, go for it. That'll be next Thursday. It's every Thursday at 19.30 GMT. That is half past seven in the evening. I think I got that right because I am terrible with numbers. Because last, I, this is the second recording of this I've done, and last time I said 17.30 and I just got so confused with myself. Also, it was like 20 minutes long. 17.30 GMT on every single Thursday. There's me, Mike, Tristan, Pete, and Lawrence, who most of us will be streaming. Lawrence and I at least will be trying to stream with everyone's viewports, uh, sort of around the stream, where we're working. Um, Ed is going to try and join if he can. He's been having a lot of trouble with his computer refusing to record Minecraft, which I am not surprised at because many computers are just... Well, Minecraft is heavy, okay? Especially with this much stuff in it. Um, and after each one, Lawrence and I will be doing a summary video from our own perspective. I'm going to put all those links in the description, everything that's important, including the link to the mod pack if you want to play it yourself. But this is definitely something that you need more than one person for, or a lot of time. Because there's a lot to do. And I'm really looking forward, now that I've seen the bottom of that chain of horrible crafting recipes, I'm actually kind of excited to start doing them, and maybe automating some of it, because automation is going to be a big part of this. So... Join us then, and if you can't join us then, the VOD will be on Twitch um, for, and then maybe on YouTube if I can be bothered uploading it afterwards, um, after each stream, and there will be a summary stream like this so they know what we did. So I hope you've enjoyed, I hope that you wish to join us next time. If you do, there's the links. If you don't, thanks for your consideration, and I hope that you will get so enamoured by the idea that you will join us next time instead. But until then, thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you.